From the moment out-of-towners reach this toll road exit, they're putting money into the local economy. You know, we're the first two hotels that they see, um, so it's it's a huge benefit for us to be right off that tour. At hotels like the Hilton Garden Inn, it's all about location, location, location. And their vicinity to colleges makes them a go-to spot for football fans. This weekend in particular, they're getting here early and they're going to do everything from, you know, the, the pep rally to the drum circle to everything they can do right up to the time of the game. And that's the kind of mindset Rob DeClean from Visit South Bend says can lead to tourism growth. It's recognizing the notoriety we might gain from something like a Notre Dame football, but then getting the word out about all the great things there are to do in our community. The latest numbers show that tourism in the county is a $447 million industry. In 2009, that number was at 408.3 million. So it's a nice affirmation to see that um, tourism is a, is a true viable opportunity for us in, the, in St. Joseph County. Over at Broncos, they're already gearing up for a busy weekend. To bring an extra crew, twice as much dough usually. Here, Notre Dame history lines the walls. Just one sign of the impact the football tourists have made on the local eatery. It's not just Notre Dame fans. Like, you'll get Michigan fans in here and USC fans and Purdue fans, but they all have a good time, win or lose, you know. So it's kind of fun to look out the window from the kitchen and see a bunch of different colors, you know. 